Ron DeSantis's hostile takeover of Florida's new college began back in January when the governor appointed six conservative members to the school's board of trustees. That put his hand-picked board members in the majority. And the plan here was fairly evident. Transform the small, quirky, unconventional liberal arts college into a bastion of conservatism using the new board members. And so those board members went to work. First, they fired New College's president and replaced her with a DeSantis ally. Then they abolished New College's diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. And today, in a tense meeting that was often interrupted by boos and shouting, all six board members appointed by DeSantis voted to deny tenure to five New College professors, teachers of organic chemistry and history, Latin American studies, and marine science. Now, these same professors had been recommended for tenure under the previous administration. Trustee Bauerlein? No. Trustee Karp? No. Trustee Keenan? Yes. Trustee Lipinski? Yes. Trustee Mackey? Yes. Trustee Rufo? No. Yes. Trustee Ruiz? Yes. Trustee Spalding? No. Trustee Spear? No. Chair Jinks? No. Does not pass. Uh -huh. Okay. More than 50 people spoke on the professor's behalf today, including computer science professor Matthew Lipinski, who has served on New College's board of trustees since before Governor DeSantis's foot soldiers took over. But losing that vote today was a bridge too far for Professor Lipinski. I'm very concerned about the direction that this board is going. I wish you the best of luck, but this is my last board meeting. Um, I'm leaving the college. It might not be long before other professors decide to follow him out the door. And that might be exactly the point.